Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I allegedly. And uh, got a good one for you today because lunacy is alive and well here in California. And uh, there's a lot to cover today. Like, subscribe, comment on the video. And today we have a sponsor, Chuck Norris, and I will talk about him later. But let's get into it. You know, California's got a lot of beautiful things. I'm up here at Heisler Park. I'm at the, uh, the memorial for uh, uh, the Marines up here. It's just a beautiful spot up here. You can see the flag. The flag is there, okay? Beautiful spot. But we have a problem. We have a budget shortfall in this state because for being one of the, I think, the sixth largest economy in the world, we have a budget deficit of, listen to this, $297 billion. So we're going to take in less money than uh, we're going to spend more money than we're going to bring in. It's that simple. We have a deficit and Governor Hairgel, and I'm telling you this right now, I am predicting this. Governor Hairgel from the great state of California that I live in is going to be the Democratic nominee for president of the United States. That is my prediction. Okay. So you guys can correct me if I'm wrong and tell me your opinions and things like that. But there is no way that uh, President Saucy Pants is going to be the uh, uh, the candidate, especially after what he did in France, like a five-year-old in public. Okay, so look at the videos, guys. Anyways, we have a budget shortfall of two hundred ninety-seven billion dollars. So what they propose is a lot of cool things. First things first. Let's defund the police. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's trim court costs, trial costs. You know, it costs a lot of money to have a courthouse. Hire judges, bailiffs, staff, personnel. Let's cut $90, million, $90 billion, sorry about that, $90 billion from that. Let's talk about incarceration. Let's cut back incarceration here in California. That's $30 billion a year. Guys, that's letting the criminals out in the street. That's not trying you. What'd you do? You, you tried to kill the guy? He's, he's not dead? Okay, well, let him go. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I have a friend of mine who started a second business and moved it to Dubai, and he took his family and went there. Goodbye. I'm leaving California. Really? Had a nice conversation with him this morning. That is crazy, guys. But what they want to do is get rid of all this stuff to cut costs at our safety. Now, for those of you that have been around the channel for the last couple years, you know the tremendous amount of homelessness that's here in California. And not here. Now, Laguna Beach, this, this city is Looneyville. No plastic utensils. No, can't have plastic utensils. You can't have uh, loud motorcycles. They will cite you. You can't smoke or vape in public. If I lit up a cigarette right now, I would be in violation of the law and I could get a ticket that they would gladly give me. So there's none of that, okay? Again, craziness, okay? Now, Dan, why do you live there? Why do you stay there? Where am I going to go? Arizona? My friend's there today. It's 117 degrees, okay? Yeah, let's go do that. Oh, better yet, let's go to Vegas, 108, okay? Pass, okay? We have a problem here in California in June. You have certain pockets where you get this overcast and it's absolutely beautiful, but you could drive a few miles away and the sun is shining, it's over 80 degrees, but this is just beautiful. Look at that, isn't that nice? Okay, but they're gonna destroy it. That's, that's what they wanna do. They wanna get rid of it. Now, the other thing is, think about this, okay? They want to get rid of the low cost, um, you know, low income uh, housing. Back in the 1950s, there was a rule called, I want to get this right, Article 34, that made it so municipalities had to vote to have low income housing. And of course, they're saying this is racist, this is terrible. Well, guys, you have to have a place for people to live right now. And the problem with it is that you just can't tax people to oblivion. They're going to raise our taxes to, you know, a completely different level to solve the budget problem. Okay. You've got all these people that are out right now. 
that are uh, living on pensions, making huge amounts of money that they cannot afford. You guys have seen all the pensions that have problems with this. And it's nuts, okay? Absolutely nuts. So share your thoughts on this stuff so far, guys, and let me know. And again, you know, here's the thing. I'm going to make a statement. If anybody wants to invite me to a rally, to a meeting of any of the presidential candidates, let's just say the top three, Trump, Biden, and RFK Jr. And you can go and get me backstage and you want to invite me, I'll fly anywhere in the western part of the United States to go to that event, okay? You know what I mean? I want priority treatment. I don't want VIP. I'm not interested in anything like that. But you have anything like that, invite me, okay? So there's got to be somebody out there from all the different candidates that could connect me. Let me know because I'll show up there. But I'll show everybody who's doing what and everything. Let's talk about our sponsor, Chuck Norris. You know, the legendary actor has been in Hollywood for decades. He's always maintained his physique. He has always been in good shape, been able to work out. And he discovered something in his mid eighties that made a huge difference in his life. It's one thing that completely changed his workout. It changed everything from joint pain, belly fat, everything. If you go to ChuckDefense.com, you can see the three things that he changed in his life to give him more energy and stamina and the ability to work out and play with his grandkids all day. Go to ChuckDefense.com forward slash Dan. Use the link below and uh, take a look at what Chuck Norris did. But think about this. You know, achy joints, pain, belly fat. There's something you can do about that. You don't have to just sit there and say, I have to live with this. You can do something about it and take a look at what Chuck Norris did. His wife did it, and she says she feels 10 years younger. Take a look at it today and uh, use the link below. It's the absolute easiest way to get there. Look at all the seaweed out there. The big kelp bed just floating out there. Think of all the fish that are in that stuff. Isn't that crazy, guys? Look at that. Now, to continue with the lunacy in California, I have one that's absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, have you ever wanted to live in a multi-million dollar neighborhood? Get yourself a little slice of heaven, your own private oasis right on the water. Well, April Jones is a realtor in, from East Bay Realty and Lending. And she's got a parcel for you that's absolutely amazing. It's only 400 grand. Think about what I'm telling you. 400 grand and your neighbors, you know, are at least a million five. Okay, you got some serious action around you and a beautiful neighborhood. This lot of land is directly across the bay from San Francisco. You are in Alameda Bay. It's nice, a little slice of heaven like she describes it. Now, 400 grand, there's only one problem. And uh, April could be my dream girl for the way she described this thing. But first of all, it's underwater. The lot of land, it's land, no house. It's underwater. Huh? Yeah. Tide came in, washed it out. So you can buy a lot of land that's underwater. It's $400,000. And I'm telling you, I give this woman some serious credit because the Sacramento Bee wrote about this and she took it as seriously as she could. And I'm telling you, I bet you there's somebody out there that's going, you know what, honey? We've always wanted to live in Alameda Bay. Let's go get that property. Literally, guys, take a look at the article below from Sacramento Bee. It's underwater. The whole lot's underwater. Quarter of an acre, beautiful. I'm telling you, you can build your dream home. The only thing about this, and she left out one of them too, that you have to deal with a few people and getting this approved. And, uh, you know, you've got to deal with, the city of Alameda, you've got to deal with the Army Corps of Engineers. You've got the water board, okay, because it's underwater. You know what I mean? So you got to deal with them. Public Works and the Bay Conversa Conversa Conservation and Development. Bay Conservation and Development. Plus, she forgot the Coastal Commission, too. You're going to deal with California as a Coastal Commission. So you can build on this lot of land that's underwater. And again, lunacy in California. But God love this one. This is a woman that would tell you how, you know what? You're the most amazing man I've ever been with. You are, you're the most handsome man in the world. She would sell. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my God, sweetheart. Thank you very much. Okay. 
God, I always feel so good when I'm around you. Yo, you gonna buy that lot of land, Dan? Come on, come on, it's time, okay? So, good luck, guys. Good luck to April, too. Now, the next thing is that here in California, we had the law passed for $20 an hour that's just swept across the country like a virus where they're letting people uh, make, that work at fast food joints, make $20 an hour, okay? Good for them. The only problem is that here in California, 10,000 people have lost their job already since April 1st because of these wages. Oh, I didn't think that would happen. Yeah, businesses have gone down. They've cut shifts. You know, my sister's going to work here now, not you. Everything. 10,000 people have lost their job already here in California in the fast food trade since this came out. That is horrific, guys, that you haven't seen anything yet either. So... You're going to see more and more and more of this right now. So let me know what you think about that. And, oh, here's one of my favorites. Um, State Farm, the insurance company, they're sending out reprieve letters. Remember they said, you know, they're going to let you know between now and August 1st that they're going to write your policy. Well, they've decided you can stay a State Farm client and have insurance, but there's one catch. Oh, thank God, honey. We're going to pay 20 to 50% more to stay with State Farm. But what's the catch? It can't be that bad. Well, listen, if you ever have a fire or you file a fire claim, it's automatically denied. You have to agree to that. Now, I want you to think, who would do that? Who would agree to that? And, like, watch the story below. People are like, I don't want to have multiple carriers. I want to have one insurance carrier that covers my house and covers my life. You don't buy insurance you know, thinking, hey, we're going you know, to have a fire next year. Nobody does that. You buy it in case something happens. If somebody trips and falls at your house, somebody backs into something, things happen. Accidents happen all the time, okay? But nobody wants to look at that. So these poor people can stay with State Farm if they agree that there's no fire claim. That is insane, guys. Everybody thinks about, you know, uh, you know fire claims from uh, wildfires and things like that. I know two buildings that burnt down from a car backing into a water pipe. The water pipe blew the uh, electrical lines off and hit the roof and, hey, get out of here, and the whole place burnt down, okay? So that wouldn't be covered. Now, the water damage, we'll cover the water damage, but we're not going to cover the fire that was caused by the water damage. You know what I mean? So that that's where this gets crazy. I know of a business where somebody backed into a gas line and the car was on and the guy bailed out of the car the car started the gas line like out of a movie it was like john wick you know boom okay I, I don't mean to make a joke of it but that's the severity of that that these people are dealing with so with that being said no fire coverage okay isn't this beautiful how just this gets like this it's just nice i'm telling you you drive two miles away from here sun is shining it's a beautiful day out so share your thoughts on this stuff so far guys let me know what you think about this and again, it's Looney, California. And good for you, April Jones. You're a great sales lady, okay? I meant that as a big compliment, too, okay? Underwater piece of property. <laughs> the lifeguard's back. Time to go swimming, guys. It's that time of the year. I'm going to finish this video with these last couple stories. And every now and then, you guys send me something that is just an absolute grand slam. And Juliet hit one out of the park. Now, how about this, guys? How about a car payment of $1,130.53? Okay, sounds great, doesn't it? Huh? Okay. She just got notification from her local Chevy dealer. Hey, it's time to turn in your 2011 Tahoe and get yourself a brand new 2024 Tahoe. And the payment will only be $1,130.53. Who would do that? Okay, absolutely crazy. So again, the problem with this is that people do this. And if you read what she posted, okay, give you some more room on that thing. What's crazy is that, please understand that this payment, you know, could be affected depending on what you owe on the 2011 Tahoe that you're going to turn in. Like she said, Dan, if I owed on my 2011 Tahoe, I would have 
bigger problems financially than just getting myself a new car, okay? For $1,130.53. Is that insane, guys? Okay? You guys think that we make this stuff up. This is nuts, guys. People cannot afford this. People are broke. People make 300 grand a year and don't have any money here in this area. That happens all the time. Now, the final story is between two stores, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They are out right now, and they are putting police body cam uh, cameras on their employees because of the crime. They have such a crime problem that they're wearing body cameras to film what goes on inside the store when you go to a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. Is that insane? Okay, so clearly with all the crime, with all the problems, they're doing this so that they can document what goes on inside the store. Now, you and I could run in there and push out $949 worth of stuff and they can't prosecute us here in Looneyville, Lunacy, California. But think about that. It's only getting worse right now, guys. It's getting worse. And the next thing, think about this. Defund, defund, defund. Oh, by the way, I want to run for president because I've done such a good job here in California. That's going to be the sales pitch. And I meant it. Guys, if you have anything to do with the three campaigns, let me know. I don't want, hey, here's the address of where we're going to be at. Don't send me that because uh, there's a lot of things I get sent and I want priority of something, okay? With any and all three, okay? And I will document it for you guys. Let me know, okay? Please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And again, what do you guys think about this? Why do you live there? Oh, okay, it's terrible, Dan. Here's why I live here. Um, the hot women and the beach. Oh my God, you're kind of a creep. I am. Ask your mom, okay? Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Okay? Make good choices. Email me at hello at iallegedly.com, okay? Bye.